fences, all grounds, and et cetera. And uh, in a real sense, it demonstrates again what we might call man's inhumanity to man. Is that, is that essentially what you're saying? Now, uh, wh wh when we talk about that, uh, all of these, but how would you see this as a solution? I mean, how can you tell your peers, the people that are in the fourth grade and the fifth grade in reference to some of the things that are on your mind, and what would you suggest to them that they do in order to uh, fight against this gender harassment and international harassment? Well, on December 31st is when Invisible Children is going to take down the Coney 2012 video and Coney 2012 2 Beyond Famous. Now, they're going to take down this video and on December 31st. That, that night, they're going to uh, go around every city and every state in the U.S. Mm -hmm. and get Coney 2012 posters and Coney 2012 uh, packets, which have two wristbands, one mm -hmm. to give away and one for herself, and Coney 2012 shirts and hats. And their sign is the peace sign, which is two fingers. Mm -hmm. You're a two first fingers. And they're going to go around until the sun comes up. They're going to post Coney 2012 videos. So that Friday night, you're going to go to sleep and you're going to wake up with Coney 2012 pasted and graffitied all over your uh, shops or all over your house because they're going to make you see how terrible the world is going to be if you don't act now. And I'm going to take it upon myself to go down there and join them, join the party, and I'm going to help put around these posters because I feel, I feel that if I do this, that it's going to change some Ugandan girl or boy's life. And that's my, that's my main objective, to, to help somebody at least stay alive because a boy in Uganda who, who was uh, one of um, Coney's slaves, he stated that he'd rather die than still be on earth. And that just saddened me because he would rather die than be in this army because it is that terrible that he would literally, he would commit suicide to get away from this. And his brother was also killed by Coney. So he'd want to be with his brother and reunite in heaven. So he'd rather die than be on here and face this. You know, Alana, you, you mentioned something that uh, I've not heard before that uh, there's uh, some rumors that Coney is no longer alive. I mean, where did you get that information that he was uh, killed in uh, 25, 05? Well, um, on YouTube, on the Coney 22 video, I was looking at the YouTube comments, and one um, user said that this, uh, that the video is all fake, that Coney uh, died in 2005, and uh, it had 153 reach, uh, um, it had 157 likes, which means 157 people agreed with what he just said. So I just kind of sat there in my chair, and I was like, how did that even matter? So what if Coney's dead? The LRA, the LRA is nowhere near dead, and hopefully I will see each one of the LRA members, each one of them in jail for life for, sla for uh, sexual trafficking, uh, pros prostitu uh, for prostituting these young girls, and for making these boys kill their own parents, their self. And you saw some evidence on the videos that indicated that that was what he was doing. Is that what you're saying? Yes, sir. Uh-huh. And, and how strongly influenced by that have you been? I just, I, I'm, I'm grateful that, that I'm, I'm protected and that I'm not in Uganda being and having to worry about every night, having to worry about should I go to sleep or should I just run away or should I just die? It really hurts me that you have to go through that. And my object is going to stop that. And hopefully, uh, if you're viewing this right now, hopefully you're going to help me with that too because I honestly just think of the Ugandan children and think of what they have to suffer through every night. They, ha they can't sleep without knowing they're probably going to die the next day. They can't eat because they're too poor to eat and Joseph Cunning doesn't feed them. They don't have clothes to wear because all they have is an army uniform. So. Okay, and, and, and so, Lon, let me uh, thank you for that excellent information you've given us in reference to gender harassment uh, nationally as well as international. And let me encourage our audience to tune in again next week for another informative edition of Comments. Thank you and good, good morning. morning.